Well, it's starting again. Oh, wait, modern me again. <laughs> I forget every single time. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. Sort of, maybe. <laughs> Yo, yep, yeah, we can do this. Come on, come on, guys. Oh, God, yeah, that happened last time. Actually, how, how good is my battery right now? Pro probably not very good. <laughs> I don't know, I, I kind of said it like an hour before we found out, but okay. <laughs> I suppose Nagito found out way before I did and I played as Nagito, so shows how good I am. Okay, let's press on ahead. Uh, I don't see why not. We don't exactly know what the weapon is, but yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose you're right, but Nagito tends to be telling the truth in trolls. No, actually, no, he did lie at the first trial, didn't he? Mm. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But now I know I'm better than you all. <laughs> wow, I was I wasn't wrong about that, huh? Oh, this is okay. So at the very least, we know it's not for hope at all. Like Terror Terrell's for hope, for his, his own hope, I suppose you could argue. So, mm. that's, a, that's a very simple way of looking at it, but it's, it's actually quite, um, it says a lot about Gundam actually, doesn't it? Considering he normally says such like highlandish things, and he's saying that. Yeah. It's interesting Gundam said that. I, was, I wouldn't expect him to. <laughs> You'll get the rabbit curry afterwards, don't worry. Oh man, I have a joke about women and waterfalls, but it's a bit too personal. <laughs> well, I guess it's not about me, but about someone I know, I should say. Nagato, as usual, I can't tell what he's thinking. Yeah, he's probably... Well, maybe he's bluffing. The killer used the building structure white. Hmm. Well, if something rotate... If it, maybe it's something to do... No. If it's, it's something to do with that room. And it's an octagon. Maybe... No, I, I thought maybe it moved both, uh, fl you know, both like the strawberry and the grape place and make, made them, you know, combine or something to make the octagon and then it crushes the person in between there, maybe when they're in a lift or something, but I don't think that's it. Yeah, 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 we should do that. Okay. Cause of death, huh? Could be many things. It's horribly damaged. If he was being with a blunt object, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a kill that utilized building structure. Oh yeah, the cause of death was a blunt thing. Can I look at the, the things? Are the uh, not the things? <laughs> Truth bullets. The monokuma file. It said. His body discovered his every sillage and by unprepared, so that should be because. Oh, it doesn't say anything about blunt object. Did uh, Kazuichi say anything about it? I mean, he would be the one that would know, right? Oh, no, it's about the compass thing. Oh. What was it, my choices? Crushed by the elevator. Possible. 
Beaten with a blunt object. I don't think so. Falling. Hmm. Possible. I don't think it's dead battery. Falling if you fell from the, the, the lift to the... Nah. I don't think that happening... No, I don't think there was anything that hold him, that could hold him. I imagine it's crushed by the elevator. Oh. So how? Where? Well, my my theory was, as I've already described, is how they took certain parts of his legs and then certain parts of the. The thing is, he'd be more crushed, you think, right? But how would he be crushed by the elevator? Hmm. Okay. So. I mean, I, I guess my theory must be wrong about him being taken apart, then, right? If it's not that. This horrible damage of, as if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. But do we know that? But if he was beaten with a blunt object, okay. I mean, dead battery, of course, it's not that. Falling. I don't think he was beaten with a blunt object. Falling though, how would it be falling? By... Is it maybe falling from one building to the other? Like, because of the two connections to make the octagon? Hmm. I'm not too sure how this octagon works exactly at all, to be honest. Oh, of course, yeah. But... <laughs> um, yeah, he was... I, I, I've already forgotten. If the strawberries above... Yeah, yeah, the strawberries above. So I suppose it makes sense because he was at the strawberry and the strawberry was on top of the building. The, yeah, the whole building. So... And, yeah. And does that mean that he landed in the Grape Tower? Because that's why he was, you know, at the bottom of it, yeah. Because that kind of seems logical-ish, doesn't it? Hmm. And then they put the lock on the... Strawberry, I'm actually getting these buildings, the strawberry building to make it look like he died in the strawberry building because that's where he could go and the lift was, the elevator lift was broken. So, um, yeah, so he actually died in the grape house from falling, but the locks and all that were done so that it looks like he died in the strawberry tower. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know either. I don't, I don't really know enough. It's, it's, it's possible. <laughs> you know that thing, I was like, who the hell is that square body? And I was like, oh wait, it's a sign, of course. <laughs> mm, well, if you broke through a door, the one of the elevator doors for the tower, this is just a thought, like you could break through it, and without opening the door, and then you could push Nikomaru off from there. Um, and the, the elevator wouldn't go up for you in the tower, so, hmm, I don't, I don't really have any evidence at all for that, but, no, okay, I kind of it's... yeah, exactly, that's what I just said, yeah, yeah, hmm. when it's on the first floor, the floor, the fourth floor won't open, yeah, Hmm, I guess it's, it, this is uh, making Gundam seem more suspicious. It's going crazy right now. <laughs> hmm. If no doubt from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? The strawberry tower, right? If I'm going to reach the truth behind the incident, I need to solve that mystery next. Okay. The strawberry tower lift door. That's where he would have came from. My button. Uh, when the 
right, it is on the first floor. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Yeah, that's correct. Hmm, yes. After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to... Yeah, they turned him off, yeah. Hmm, because... Yeah, but he's a robot and if you turn him off... And... Good night button, yeah, I can use the good night button, huh? Is it? That... Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just send the good night button to... Uh, Kazuichi, I think? I think it was... I need to not go too fast every time I do. I, 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 do, I go so fast, I... Okay. There we go. Good night, Burn. There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> that, that was rather simplish, but... Yep, there we go. Hajime has got it right. So he's the only one you could kill in this situation, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kazuchi. Uh, I know I'm not trying to do stuff like that, but. Oh! oh. That's the Sonya is short. Short. Oh man! All I can think of now is Sonya in a bondage gear whipping Kazuchi. Don't know if you'd like that, huh? Mm. Way to create the drop into the elevator to while Nikamura is still in it. Jackie seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? Oh, I actually don't know. Um, I mean, there's all sorts of like breaking through doors kind of stuff you could do, but and you know, like the broken doorknob and all that. Like if you break the, the door through and you create a certain arrangement. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that's all very nice. It's to think about the arrangement, right? That's the arrangement is Kazuchi comes in. I don't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about the oil on the floor? <laughs> Maybe the doorknob on the floor actually is a something. I think the doorknob is pro maybe more, more important. Oh, poor Kazuichi. <laughs> no. Oh, I could click it. Snicker eyes inside the elevator, but can you create a difference in elevation? Well, if he's already turned off, um, I suppose. Oh. Range in a certain way. Okay. Good night button. Oil on the floor. Chipped over pillar. New looking hammer. No. Chain. I don't know. What was the chain used for? Chain. Oh, the chain in the door. Chain was wrapped around the hand handles of the door at the back of the grape house. For some reason. Oh, it was at the back of the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Back of the grape tower. Oh, okay. I've got all this all mixed up, haven't I? Uh, for some reason, the killer was able to enter the tower from the strawberry hall. Man, my mind cannot process this right now. I don't remember the finer details of everything that's gone on. Uh, no, what did I want to look at? Broken doorknob. Doorknob found under the tipped over pillar. The screws at the base are pulled out. And that's... Got... Is this... Was this found? Because this... I can't remember which door this was from. Uh, if I find that, uh, du, 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 du. I'll eventually find it, right? Contact elevator, no. Where is it? Where are you? 
Is this it? No, no, no. Broken doorknob. Clock's alarm. No, I don't want this. Don't want that. Sit on appearance. Robbery hall. No. Contact elevator. No. I want to see the door without the handle. Is there no evidence for that? Because there was a door. Oh, I thought that would have been uh, some evidence, huh? Uh, uh, and I can't copy. I can't. I can't use one of these, can I? Yeah, I can only do the. Are there any green ones here? Because okay, uh, let's go through this again. I didn't. I didn't quite. Is it? You can cause the drop. Okay, if I copy this, cause the drop with. That maybe. Like you know, I did have my theory about like using chains as a thing. Hmm. I'm really laid back right now. If you can't tell. Although, oh, marble this, marble this, guys. Oh man. I mean, the only one that seems to relate when I look at it seems to be the doorknob on the floor. Um, I don't know, maybe the broken door knob found under the tip of screws at the base of the portal and some the back doors as far back as the strawberry house was missing. One of the door knobs. Okay, so this is from the strawberry house. Okay. This is the great door in the strawberry house, right? Hmm. So what about if I send the broken doorknob to uh, to agree with Kazuichi? Um, oh, not Kazuichi! God damn it! I went past it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay, let's do it this time. Yep. Oh, and send it. No. Okay. So it's not that, huh? Then, if that's not it, you can cause the drop within the elevator. Within? Um, within the elevator? Because the only thing I can think of right now is to, you know, go through, throw them through a door. Well, hmm, I guess that's really obvious, huh? No, wheel on the floor, no. Yeah, that did, did seem suspicious. How about we all shut up and listen to what? <laughs> no one's listened. You know, we could easily go through this if we just listened to Chiaki's. So... Oh no! <laughs> I think it was 15 seconds. Um. Yeah. Okay, well. So you're telling me it's nothing. Wire. Good night, but. Um... Yeah, because... Mm. What, what am I not thinking of? There must be something... I'm... Like... There was the tripped over pillar, yeah. It did have blood on it. But why did it have blood on it? Maybe that's a clue to this all. One of the pillars on the side of the door was tipped over. The damaged area of the pillar was all stained. Um... And maybe the tipped over pillar, tipped over pillar was involved with him falling? Hmm, that, that could be. That could be it. One of the oil was flowing and the magic that came from his fatal head wound. Yep, that's making a sleep mode, wire. Left leg was tied with a metal wire, the tip of the wire was also tied in a loop. But what was that tied to? If that was tied into a loop, I don't think... Did we address this? I don't remember. Um, maybe that was attached to something. It doesn't look very big, so... I was thinking maybe it was attached to the... He was like tied to the tower, maybe? The pillar, I should say. Um, like, oh! So, if they tied him to the top of the pillar... And the pillar's momentum made him fall down, maybe? 
Like, you know, you tied his leg to the tap, the pillar. Hmm. Maybe, I'm just, I'm trying to, I mean, that would be using the pillar to kill them, right? And the moment we're going, hmm. I'm trying to, trying to get this to, to make a bit more sense. Uh, it, like, it would be rather difficult to carry them all the way and put them on top of the tower, so that doesn't seem like that would be the, what you'd do. Um, so if you have them laying down. Okay, let's just say they were lying down on the floor because, you know, the people are heavy and people can't pick stuff up. Um, and they attach them to the pillar. It, making them go down isn't... Oh, no, no, of course I've got it now. I've got it now. So, you've got Nekomaru. You've got Nekomaru. You've got these, the wire. You attach it to the handle uh, at the top of the strawberry uh, tower, the grape door that has the handle. And the wire pulls on Nekomaru's leg. Um, and like, because he's forced to stay up there. And then you open... Maybe you open the door, or I, I, how would you make him fall? Because then you'd just be hanging, right? You'd just be hanging up there. Uh, I haven't got quite that sorted out. Unless you did it. Hmm. The tower made him fall, like cut the. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's the wire and the handle. I so if I send the wire to to him then then that would work I'm just trying to think think of how he would fall how would he fall uh, maybe this is a, my theory is wrong it's just a way you could do it not necessarily the what oh there we go oh whoa 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 I don't know what the hell happened there so yeah yeah Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, it seems like it, yep. So it wasn't changed, it was the wire. Wow. I got that wrong. Well, I mean, I'm talking about when I first started the trial. Well, actually, no. When I was Mm, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But he he has he had he has the has a way. Of, mm, at least he's in, you know halfway through the air, I suppose. But. Mm -hmm. Oh, I suppose the wire isn't strong enough to hold up his body, so it would fall. I suppose that's really off for yourself. Yeah, and then of course you'd fall because it couldn't hold him for very long. The only problem with that is you'd need to probably do like some mathematics unless you tested it first beforehand. Which um, maybe th maybe that sound was uh, Nikomaru falling to the ground that we heard. Um, but yeah, like. Maybe because the Y might not be strong enough to hold him up there long enough for him to fall, and then he would—it wouldn't kill him, if you see what I mean. Uh, that's yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So no, no, it did. It was strong enough to keep him up there, huh? Hmm. That could be so many, there's so many puns that could have been, I'm not too sure where it was going there. It's kind of cute how um, Mekamaru had that little uh, nose drop, I'm not too sure the name for it. God, this means the killer knew everything about the layout of the, the thing. That must mean they went through the, the killer room. Oh, okay, okay. How did they make them fall is probably his argument, right? 
Yeah, you are right. You, you'd need a bit something else, huh? Exactly, yeah. Maybe he didn't fall. I mean, you could argue like <laughs> it's an up the upwards motion was so fast and silent that it crushed him as it going up, and that's why um, it's, it's this is just a theory, but like <laughs> it's just a theory, guys. <laughs> Make myself laugh when I say something like that. Anyway, um, it, it went up. And it like crushed underneath him. I mean, the the the, the force of the elevator broke underneath him, and that's what killed him. And not the fall; it's the upwards motion that killed him. But if he was really hanging in that position that he was in the drawing they showed, then that doesn't seem as likely, huh? Hmm. Oh God. Rebuild or shut down. Remember how? Oh god, I. Well, I gotta, I gotta remember that I've gotta wait, and I can't just combo, combo, combo. Cause that's how it gets me every time. Even if they suspended Nakamaru, how did they? There's no way in the tower to push him off. There's, they could do that. Oh, wait. Uh. Yeah. So there's a certain difference in innovation in towers used to kill Nakamaru. I need to find the answer and counter counter issues and remarks. Yeah, and there's no one in the tower to push him off. Oh, it doesn't let me do the thing. Hmm. God damn it, game. There we go. One, two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. It doesn't mean as. Hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, the weight? Hmm. If you're sleeping, there's no way you could do that to himself. Here's now his time if you want it. But in that case, still would be able to, uh, moving inside. What? Uh, that's impossible. Is that what you're saying? Oh. I I actually didn't. <laughs> I was struggling to read what he said. All right, if I use that evidence, I should be able to break through Kazurichi's remarks too. Tripped over pillar, I suppose, maybe. No. Still in sleep mode. Okay, but in that case... Moving the elevator is absolutely impossible. No, well, it is possible to move the elevator because he's turned off. Um, trip to a pillar, new looking hammer, no, pillar fragments, I mean that was my theory about it going up, but no, clock's alarm timer, oh yeah, alarm timer, of course, because uh, it was it was to wake up at 7.30, but maybe that was not the real time, because maybe, because we know two people saw Neko Maru before he died, oh, no, <laughs> God damn it. Um, so two people saw him before, you know, his, him, his dead body. So, so they could have just changed the time afterwards. So especially someone like Kazuichi could have. Uh, okay, and then... There we go. There we go. Um... Yeah, so two people saw him before Hajime saw him.